y'all welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be sharing with you guys my homemade marshmallow recipe i say it's mine but i actually just use a pinterest recipe i believe it's someone called the kitchen is my playground that's her recipe so um i've done this a couple times and they are so good and so worth it i'm telling you guys if you don't like marshmallows make them homemade one time and you will love them you won't go back so um, I'm going to take you guys through exactly how I do it, what you need to do it, and um, I will tell you guys, if you do want to do this, you want to do it the day before because you do have to let the marshmallows dry out overnight. So if you're doing this book for a special event or anything like that, make sure and start on it the day before. Right now it is the Saturday before and then Sunday morning I'll wake up, cut them, and I'll have them in my coffee, which is the best thing ever. If you're making homemade marshmallows, save them for your coffee. So let's go ahead and get started and i'll tell you guys everything you need and how to do it okay so the first thing you will need and this is the most important is some unflavored gelatin you will need three packets of this they usually sell it in a pack of four you'll need some confectioner sugar some regular just granulated sugar you'll need um light corn syrup vanilla preferably like the good kind not the 82 cents kind you'll need a candy thermometer um some cling wrap a nine by I think this is like 18 inch um, casserole pan a stand mixer I'm sure you could use a hand mixer but it is much much easier with just a stand mixer and then you'll need just a regular pot so this is the recipe I use I don't know if you guys can see that it's not my own it is the kitchen is my playground and again, I will have this all posted below for you guys. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is um, attach your whisk to your stand mixer and then you're going to take one, uh, not one half cup, just a half cup of cold water and then three packs of your gelatin. And you're gonna let this sit in here while you do everything else. Next thing you want to do is take your saucepan, turn it over medium heat on gas that's like four. Then you're going to take your other half cup of cold water, one and a half cups of granulated sugar. Oh, that sound, this is a lot of sugar, but it's worth it. One four teaspoon of kosher salt, and then one full cup of corn syrup. And this is light corn syrup. You're gonna to wanna to cook this on medium until all of the sugar dissolves. And then we're gonna turn it to high and then add our, add our uh, candy thermometer and cook it until it is at 240 degrees. Okay, that looks about dissolved. So now I'm going to add the candy thermometer and I'm going to turn this up to high. And this usually takes about 10 minutes. So I'm gonna keep watching this pretty closely. All right, we are about there. The softball line is 240 degrees on my candy thermometer. So I'm gonna pull this off right about now. Okay, so I just pulled this off. You're gonna to wanna to turn your mixer to low and then slowly pour this in. And this is extremely freaking hot, so don't burn me itself. Okay. Then after that, we're gonna wanna turn this all the way high and you wanna beat this for like 15 minutes for a really long time until it's white and it's very, 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 very thick. So we're gonna do that now. Okay, I think we are done now. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our cling wrap, we're gonna line the bottom of this pan, and then if you had spray oil, you would spray that. I don't have that, so I'm just gonna use some peanut oil and a paper towel, oil the uh, cling wrap, and then we're gonna sprinkle it with confectioner sugar.
So here's what your pan should look like. After that, a little trick for you is to take your oil paper towel and oil and oil your spatula so it doesn't stick as much to your marshmallow mixture. Take your dough or dough, you know, whatever, marshmallow mixture and plop it in here. the shirt if you're like me that sucks okay and then once you've got as much as you possibly can in here start to spread it out the best you can after you um, wash your hands after trying to get this thing freaking smooth um, you're gonna very thoroughly dust this with confectioner sugar again and then you're gonna leave out to dry all night just kind of spread it around into the edges okay afterwards this is kind of what it should look like your kitchen will kind of be a mess um, Lord help you trying to get this bowl clean and this pan clean and clean up all this confectioner sugar but again I swear it's worth it so um, now we're just gonna want to cover this or you can leave it uncovered actually I think you're supposed to leave it uncovered Leave uncovered with the powdered sugar on top and let this dry out overnight. And then in the morning, I'll show you guys the easiest way to cut it all up. Okay, it's the next morning and the marshmallows have been all out to dry. So the next thing you're gonna wanna do is turn this out onto a cutting board. Okay, so I'm gonna turn this over and then I'm gonna pull the cling rack off. And it looks like for the most part, this did not stick. So first thing in the morning, it should look like this. They should be squishy and your cling wrap should have peeled off very easily if you used enough oil and um, powdered sugar. So now we're gonna cut this up. You're just gonna wanna use a long serrated knife and the easiest way to do this is to kinda oil or spray your knife and then cut. Okay, and I just cut in long strips and then cut again the other way so I essentially just cut them in squares you could get a cookie cutter and make really cute cutouts like hearts and stuff but I don't want to waste any of this <laughs> because it's so good but I think that would be a cute gift idea is if you wanted to um, give someone like a bag of hot chocolate and some of these homemade marshmallows and cut them out into different shapes I think that'd be really cute We've cut lengthwise, you're just going to go widthwise, and then your marshmallows will come out looking something like this. I'll show you guys what you do after that. you're gonna pull out each one and then with the leftover powdered sugar that you have in your bin you're just gonna want to powder all the sides of the marshmallow and then set it aside and this is just gonna help them not stick when you put them together all right and then when they're all done they should look like something <laughs> like this they should be fluffy and cut and then powdered sugar all over and then you just want to store them in an airtight container for as long as you want I'm gonna enjoy some coffee with them this morning so I hope you give this recipe a try. If you do, make sure and send me a picture at Naomi Rose YT on Instagram or Twitter. And um, yeah, I hope you guys have a great day.